Yeah. For God's sake, Alicia, you're the managing editor of the sixth largest paper in the country. Now you. All I want is to be fairly comprehensive. Oh, no, you can't come in there every six months. I have other offers. Don't make me bring up the other offers. Does this have to be the day? Do we have to do this today? I have pressures, Bernie. Real pressures. I see. Pressures. I know you love running features. I know Keely shoved you into this overwhelming administrative job you didn't want. <sighs> yeah, I never knew how isolating it was going to be. I mean, you know, there's not exactly a lot of laughs around my office these days. Well, you're in management now. If everybody yeah. loved you, you'd be doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. But the fact is, I think you're working miracles with the job. Exactly. I have 300 people doing the work. They need 754 over at Newsday. I know. Thank you. But there's no more money for you. There just isn't. Alicia, there's a ceiling in this business, and you're hitting your head on. OK, fine. <laughs> My contract's up in 18 months. I'd like permission to start interviewing now. Alicia. You leave me no choice. That contract leaves me no choice. I hope you'll pardon me saying this, and I know I'm no one to talk, but the problem isn't with your contract, OK? It really isn't. No way. No, 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 no. All right. Let me tell you a story. Sit down. Sit oh, down. Bernie. No, sit down. It won't take long, is it? Okay. Very interesting. Right. Now, all right. in 68, a bunch of us that were covering the Olympics in Grenoble decided to go to the best restaurant in town. Now, the, the menu didn't have any prices, but we were on expense accounts, so we just figured, fuck it, got drunk. Well, <sighs> somehow there ended up being, I don't know, 15 or 20 of us at the table, and when the check came, whoo, it was $9,000. Yeah, exactly. So now we're all starting to point fingers. We're, we're, we're trying to remember who invited who. We're talking about going to Western Union to get money cabled. And just when it was getting really embarrassing, this funny-looking old guy at the next table called the maitre d'oeuvre. Hey, old guy, like, he do a couple of squiggly lines on a napkin, signed his name, winked at us, and that was that. The old guy was Pablo Picasso, and that napkin paid our bill. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I caught the segue here, Bernie. Well, the people we cover, we move in their world, but it is their world. You can't live like that, Alicia. You'll never keep up. Now, if you try to make this job about the money, you'll be nothing but miserable because we don't get the money. Never have, never will. So what can I say? Talk to Bruno about the, what, decoration, renovation, whatever. Ask him to be reasonable. Your husband's a reasonable guy. Or give up the nights in town Bruno doesn't know about. What? It won't lead anywhere good. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. OK. I'm going to see Keeley tonight at the benefit. It's obvious that I'm going to have to take this up with him directly. You go over my head on this, you'll only make it worse for yourself, believe me. 